All right, guys, just the other day, we had a look at Nikes inspired by weed. And today, I want to look at shoes that are inspired by cigars and cigarettes. The first one I want to look at is a Nike Dunk SB High, and it was inspired by cigars. Look at this beautiful brown upper. If you look really closely at the material used on this shoe, primarily right here, you'll notice that it looks just like the wraps for cigars. Very, very creative. There were even some limited edition models that came in boxes that looked like a cigar box. Super cool. I never got my hands on one of those ones, unfortunately. Anyway, moving from the cigar shoe, I want to get into the cigarette shoe, which is super duper cool. They are inspired by Newport cigarettes. The creativity starts right off the bat. You'll notice that the box itself is an oversized pack of cigarettes. It opens up like a pack of cigarettes. Inside, I've got two packs of Newports that we can put on display over here. The Newport cigarettes were on display next to these Newport shoes. I had cigars on display next to the cigar shoes and even a poster of Michael Jordan smoking a cigar after he won his first championship. So this shoe is known as an Ari Menthol. There's only 252 of them in the whole world. They're worth in excess of $1,000, and they're very tough to get your hands on. So I know it looks just like an Air Force One, but with an upside-down swoosh, and that's part of the genius behind this shoe. So Ari, this designer and artist in New York, noticed that the logo on a pack of Newport cigarettes looks just like a Nike swoosh upside down. So he decided that he would combine these two iconic logos and put them together into a pair of shoes that look just like an Air Force One, but also like a pack of Newport cigarettes. Ari was actually sued by Nike and sued by Newport over the release of these shoes. And if you go on YouTube and type in Ari Menthol shoes, you'll be able to see all of this information, including cease and desist stuff going on with the designer of these amazing kicks. We'll pull out the other one right here. I absolutely love these shoes. I picked them up at Flight Club New York. There was just another pair in size 11 for sale there, and I waited and didn't buy them, and I sort of regret it. A pair of shoes like this that there's only 252, if you can get your hands on an extra pair, I say go for it. So these shoes came with a bunch of goodies. This little framed picture it says indulge yourself. And one of the cool things about this shoe actually is that the inner tag right here, where it would normally say the size of the shoe or the country that it was made in, it just says blah, 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 blah. And it was just another way of Ari sort of laughing at all of the legality of what he did by ripping off two very popular trademarks to create these shoes. Inside here, tin foil, like what would normally be inside of a pack of cigarettes. So he really went all out with this super cool pair of shoes. And I sort of went all out when it came to creating a display for these. So I was at a swap meet, and I picked up this giant Newport ashtray. It cost just $5. Uh, buying a lot of the toys and the props at swap meets was very economical. And you can see just how amazing the shoe looks when it's on top of the ashtray. And when I was building the shoeseum, I became totally obsessed, not only with collecting shoes, but also finding toys and props. And while most of the toys and props were purchased at swap meets and Walmart, some of them I got in more sketchy ways, like this one. I was driving on the freeway. There was a gas station advertising for Newport cigarettes. And I don't know what to say, but I just had to have it. So I pulled over, filled my tank up with gas, very carefully removed this oversized Newport cigarette pack from the post that it was attached to, put it in my car, brought it home, and brought these shoes to life. I hope you've enjoyed checking out the cigar and the cigarette shoes, and I'll see you next time.